let's talk some basic science and some real world economics. Like all modern landfills, the natural biological decomposition process at Dane County's operation on Highway 1218 produces a gas called biogas. Biogas is about 50% methane. The energy source known as natural gas is 98% methane. So, biogas possesses the potential to be used as an energy source once impurities are removed. Most landfills just burn off their biogas, which is required by law. But for the past 23 years, the methane in Dane County's biogas has been harnessed to generate renewable electricity, which in turn has been sold to local utilities. As a result, this process has provided enough renewable electricity to power 4,000 Dane County homes 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. While this project has served us well, we now have an opportunity to further our economic and environmental gains while ensuring that our own energy needs continue to be met in a responsible, sustainable way. This new initiative is the first in the nation, a $28 million project that we're happy to share with you today. Obviously, there are countless technical and economic aspects to a plan of this scope, but for the sake of discussion, let's look at the four basic components. One, we will build an on-site facility, which will enable us to refine all of our biogas, 50% methane, into pipeline-grade natural gas, 98% methane. Two, we will convert our refined gas to renewable natural gas, a highly coveted vehicle fuel, because of its minimal environmental impact and maximum efficiency. Three, we will inject this refined gas directly into the ANR Trans-Canada Transmission Pipeline. Dane County will be the only renewable energy producer from Wisconsin to put gas into this pipeline. Our proximity to this energy superhighway is a major plus. It runs directly under our landfill property. Our RNG will be sold on the open market and be used to propel our own Dane County service fleet. Four, our new system will also have an offloading station that will enable regional biogas digesters from Wisconsin's dairy farmers and other agribusiness sources to truck their gas to our facility and use our pipeline interconnect. This will be the first project in the nation to have this capability. This has the potential to significantly improve the economics of digesters. This could lead to more area digesters, which will help lead to cleaner lakes. Centralized offloading will significantly boost the economic and ecological viability of biogas digesters while further protecting the natural purity of Dane County's recreational lakes and waterways. The economic impact of our plan is significant. Renewable fuels are incentivized by both federal and state programs. And the investment will yield enough gas and service generated revenue to pay off the initial project costs in three years. After that, the operation will generate several million dollars each year, which will go directly to Dane County's general fund. This would otherwise be funded by taxpayer revenues. Not only will this project create jobs and keep skilled workers in Wisconsin, the RNG itself will become a continual resource that provides energy independence while lessening our dependence on foreign sources of fuel. Considering the fact that $12 billion leave Wisconsin for fuel every year, the impact of our keeping those dollars here is fairly evident. The environmental impact is even more profound. RNG from our landfill, used to fuel our own county fleet and countless other vehicles, will have an 88% reduction in carbon emissions when compared to gasoline or diesel fuels. This will help improve air quality here in Dane County. In its first 12 months of operation, now slated to start in 2019, we will displace almost 3 million gallons of gasoline and diesel fuel per year with clean, renewable fuel from landfill biogas. As our landfill operations grow, this will increase to more than 4 million gallons of renewable fuel per year. To provide some perspective, that is the equivalent of removing 7,500 cars from the road every single year.